Hello everyone. This video is aiming to give you a quick overview on the Hard Cognition Many Labs project on behalf of the Environmental Collective Behavior Group at University of Constance. It's aiming to demonstrate a short research outline so you can understand the main purpose of the project and also understand which would be your role as a potential collaborator. The project is a joint project from the Environmental Collective Behavior Group located at the Center for Advanced Studies of Collective Behavior in Constance and the SCAN unit at University of Vienna. We all know that climate change is happening and it has a huge impact on our environment and on us. Related hazards of climate change, such as floods, storms or heat waves, have become much more frequent. A lot of research in environmental psychology so far is looking into how we can change human behavior in order to reduce the impact on climate change. For example, there has been a prior huge Manilab study where Kimberly Dirl, as leader of this group, also has been involved in coordination, which globally tested different interventions to foster climate action and policy support. On the other hand, a change in climate and environment will also impact us as humans. But there's a lot of less research on this side, understanding the effects on human cognition, human behavior and human systems. This is also where our new project will be located, therefore. Look in particular into heat waves and extreme heat as one climate hazard that has already been more prevalent. So how do these extreme heat conditions that come with climate change impact us as humans? We want to use heat waves as a natural experiment, so to understand how exposure to extreme heat impacts different facets of human cognition, looking into cognitive performance, social cognition and behavior, and also beliefs and psychological well-being. We want to understand how extreme heat impacts these facets and how this is also moderated by the context in which people experience the heat wave, their individual vulnerability to extreme heat, but also their adaptive capacity, so their possibility to cope with extreme heat. Therefore, our main research question is, how does extreme heat impact human cognition, social functioning and psychological well-being? Our research project will have two main phases. In the first phase, we will develop all scientific materials and collect data in target regions across the globe. This is setting the baseline for a systematic investigation of the effects of extreme heat, and we will target to get a general population from cities across the planet. In a second phase of the project, we will then reuse these materials in collaboration with different teams to collect data in more vulnerable populations. So, for example, in patients with neurology disorders such as schizophrenia. But the video that I'm doing today and the project that we are pitching for collaboration at the moment is focusing on phase one. So on collecting a general population from targeted cities across the planet. Our data collection plan is therefore based on first developing an experimental survey, which includes both questionnaires with established scales for, for example, beliefs, psychological well-being or social functioning, but as well a battery of cognitive tasks, for example, for attention, memory or social cognition. We will, for each country that is included, collect a minimum of 2000 participants in two quasi-experimental conditions. In the hot condition, that means during extreme heat, and in the not hot condition, that is in a temperature that is neither too hot or too cold, setting a range of acceptable average temperatures. For the second condition, we will have two time points where 500 participants are collected in a period before extreme heat periods come up and uh, after extreme heat periods. So in this kind of average temperature. So we will have these two experimental, quasi experimental conditions where we will assess each 1000 people. Um, that means it will be a 2,000 participants for different locations across the globe. Note that we go for a between subjects design in the hot versus not hot group, and we will work with a market research panel agency um, with that to collect data. And our collaborators will also um, be required to work with that market research panel agency. And we will match very carefully the samples between the two different time points by factors such as age and gender, but of course also location and ideally education. This whole project is aiming to be an open science project and we will only use open source materials. So when we are talking about the hot condition, what do we mean by extreme heat? Extreme heat is a period of at least three days where the mean daily temperature is above the 99th percentile average in that location compared to prior climatological periods or when the temperature exceeds the threshold of 35 degrees or 95 degrees Fahrenheit. 
With that definition, we are setting the heat threshold or an extreme heat threshold in relation to prior temperature data. And the idea is that we have this temperature data for each of the locations that we are working in and have a threshold therefore for when extreme heat is kicking in. So how do we coordinate data collection during extreme heat? The idea is that through this predefined temperature threshold that is unique for each location and city that we are having, we basically can say this is the moment where we start collecting during a heat wave. And the collaborator teams in each country will be responsible for tracking extreme heat, tracking when this extreme heat parameter will be met in their city, and then kick off data collection once this threshold is met. On the other hand, we also have the not hot condition. This is a period of at least three days, ideally in a very similar season of the year, where the maximum daily temperature is minimum 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit lower than in the hot condition, but still higher than 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Through this definition, we aim to have a temperature period that is not too, whole, not too cold and not too hot, and therefore setting a baseline or a comparison group for the hot condition. Also here we will have a predefined temperature threshold based on our extreme heat threshold for each location and city. And again, the collaborator teams in each country will be responsible for also tracking this kind of temperature. So basically tracking the temperature throughout the whole period, both for extreme heat and for the not hot condition. And then kick off and coordinate data collection during the different periods based on the temperature thresholds that we bring. Just as an overview of different cognitive tasks that we are currently planning to include in our questionnaire, I will now give a list of different cognitive tasks that are under discussion. Please note that this is first open for edits and suggestions from your side, and second that this comes with the premise that we on our side will host and implement the survey. So we will make sure to implement both the combination of survey questionnaires and cognitive tasks as both desktop and mobile versions on our side and then give links for this survey to the different collaborating teams, which then can be distributed to the different samples. So which tasks do we currently discuss or plan to include? This is, for example, the simple reaction time task, the stop signal task for impulse control and response inhibition, the NBAC task for working memory, the BAR task for risk taking, the social value orientation for pro-sociality, the Nabeko anger scale to also assess something like aggression, the well-being index to uh, assess facets of psychological well-being, um, and many more that we are currently discussing. But as I said, this is also a collaboration effort. So our goal is to collect ideas from your side as well, which tasks would be good to include, especially, for example, also for social cognition. And then you can add and suggest these tasks, and there will be a voting on the task and scales which make most sense to include. So what are the target countries and cities that we will target in our many labs? So we decided to focus on recruiting from cities and urban locations, as extreme heat is especially prevalent in cities, and also this gives us a concrete geographical area to detect and define a heat wave based on available prior temperature data. We will come up with a concrete city list defined by us with cities across the planet based on this prior temperature data and the probability where we assess the probability of heat waves to be pretty high. So the idea is to have this city list and then you as collaborators can sign up for one of the cities. Our goal is to have a mix of low, medium and high countries with different climate change vulnerabilities. So having countries that rather have a low climate change vulnerability to medium and to very high, which also means that we are really trying to have a global representation of different regions. So we will define these target cities in each of the different regions across the planet to in the end have a very representative worldview. Please note that this means that data collection phases will be different for each location because there are different periods of extreme heat in the different countries that we will target. So coming to the many labs and to your role or your potential role as a collaborator, what would be your responsibilities as such a collaborator? In the preparation, I already mentioned that there's, it's, it will be a collaborative process to finalize the survey and we might request some support for local adaptation of the survey and the questionnaire and the translations. 
Please note that we are a psychological accelerator affiliated project. That means that translation will mostly happen on our side and we will just reach out in case of specific needs for translation support. During the data acquisition, the collaborating teams that want to participate in the Money Labs will sign up for the predefined target cities that I just mentioned and finance data collection in these cities. Also, um, as I already mentioned when describing the hot and not hot condition, it will be very relevant that the collaborating teams monitor extreme heat and heat waves in their country and interact with the market research provider to coordinate the data, the data collection in their city. So basically kick off data collection once the heat wave threshold is met, but also coordinate the data collection in these specific not hot conditions. The co-authorship or the way we are planning to handle co-authorship in this project is that collaborator teams of two people will be required to um, acquire at least 500 participants. And uh, there can be additional team members added as co-authors, which requires, first of all, the organizational team approval and then 250 people more per person to be added. As I already said, um, the sign up means that there will be at least one person always that is tracking temperature parameters throughout the full period, um, as we want to make sure that it's possible to not miss any heat wave time point in, uh, in the cities that we are coll collecting data in. So if you haven't signed up already, then sign up now for our mailing list under the following link. And we will also provide a link to a website soon enough and you can always reach us via mail in case you have any questions.